How much you want to bet thousands of calls will be made to this hotline, this so-called domestic terrorism hotline, about harassment and intimidation? And then they'll put the data out that the white supremacists and the Trump supporters are behind this. And just like January 6th, we have an insurrection of our school system on our hands. You can see, ladies and gentlemen, that all the tactics that are promoted by Marxist professors for the last half a century, but particularly in the 60s and 70s, are in play right now. Cloward and Piven overwhelming the system, breaking the system, blaming the system, then controlling the system. You see this happening now when it comes to immigration on the border. That's exactly what's taking place. Overwhelm the Border Patrol, overwhelm ICE, then blame the men and women of the Border Patrol and ICE, accuse them of doing things that look like slavery and so forth and so on, forcing the states to act. Uh, but hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people coming in here with God knows what kind of backgrounds and diseases illegally. You can also see the, uh, the Solinsky tactics right here with Joy Reid and others uh, to target your opponents and personalize the attack, character assassinate them. So now they're doing that with Senator Sinema. The uh, Washington Post has tried that with me, throwing me into a sentence with the Proud Boys. I don't know anything about the Proud Boys, but the goal is clear to paint me as somebody that I'm not. And the New York Times did it the other day, I believe it was Saturday, in an article they wrote about an attorney, John Eastman, uh, uh, and putting in there that I'm a far-right commentator. But this far-right Proud Boy stuff, I'm a constitutional conservative, of course. And they do this to everybody. Why do you think the Garland memo went out? In addition to him covering for his, uh, his daughter and his son-in-law, in addition to his ideological agenda here for the unions of the Democrat Party and critical race theory, it is to demonize an entire group of people, parents and taxpayers. That's what it's all about. And so you can see these various movements. Climate change, that is the degrowth movement that's in this massive bill. It's an attack on our energy. It's an attack on your, your private property rights. You can see it when it comes to critical race theory. Everything's about racism and white supremacy and so forth. This is all not new, but in terms of the press pushing, and it's relatively new over the last two years or so. And you can also see it with the other areas that they're pushing, spending. You're spending $5.5 trillion, and that costs nothing? That's zero? I mean, what are we, uh, completely out of our minds that we have to accept that kind of mathematics from the American Marxists that are taking place? I want to encourage you to inform yourselves about these movements. We're not going anywhere. We're going to push back. That's why we have Levin TV, Life, Liberty, and Levin. That's why we have my radio show, my books. And that's why we have the Blaze TV network. This effort by the Biden administration, the Department of Justice, working with the teachers unions, the National School Board Association, which is a left-wing organization, and now the superintendent's organization, also a left-wing organization, in other words, the educational bureaucracy, working with them to push these totalitarian rules and to threaten parents who raise a ruckus at school board meetings, which they are free to do under the First Amendment of the Constitution. We're not talking about violence. We're talking about raising a ruckus, a peaceful ruckus. Um, but they're going to threaten them. They're going to monitor them with the FBI, with the National Security Division of the Justice Department, the Civil Rights Division of the Justice Department. And they're going to have a hotline you call. And this hotline you call goes to a unit within the Department of Justice that monitors domestic terrorism. Domestic terrorism. And so uh, you can see uh, what's being laid out for us here. This is totalitarianism, and we need to resist it. We need to be peaceful, we need to be civil, but we need to have armies of parents and taxpayers attending school board meetings, and yes, raising their concerns. Otherwise, we're going to be turning our children in these classrooms over to this uh, educational bureaucracy backed up by the Democrat Party, and they're going to have free reign on indoctrinating your kids against this country and against each other. And this cannot be tolerated. This must not be tolerated. Why is the Attorney General involved in this at all, or the FBI or the rest of the Department of Justice? There is no federal basis. There is no federal attachment to this at all. School boards are local. State law enforcement, local law enforcement have the authority if somebody's being truly uh, threatened with violence, but uh, the federal government has no statutory or constitutional role whatsoever in getting involved in this. And it's not just the FBI, it's the National Security Unit, 
or division within the Department of Justice, the criminal division within the Department of Justice, the civil rights division within the Department of Justice. Think about that. Uh, state and local law enforcement know full well they have an open line to the FBI, and they also know full well the FBI has no business getting involved in any of this. There's a reason why, since the beginning of the FBI's establishment over 100 years ago, that the FBI has never done this before, ever. And they want to use the Patriot Act, hate crimes acts. What is this? It's a precedent that must be stopped now. And I want to encourage you parents and taxpayers out there to attend these school board meetings, not just by the hundreds, but by the thousands if possible. Be civil, be peaceful, but you're allowed to speak out, you're allowed to carry signs, and you're allowed to confront these policies and these issues and your elected officials. You're free to do that in this country. For all this and much more, sign up for Levin TV.